So now we go back to the computation height uh, setting, and that says that in this instance, let's say that okay, I will need to do for this room the base offset to be higher than this. So this one is 600 millimeters, so let's place it on 700 millimeters. So I go, I put base, base offset 700. Hit OK and I get an error that room's lower offset is above the computation height and this cannot happen. It can only be as high as the computation height here. So if I check it in the room, it is grayed out again or as well and I cannot change it. So how I can actually modify this setting. I cannot do it in room settings. I have to actually go to the setting of the level because this is the setting for the level. So if I select the level, here you can see I have a computation height. And it says that it is the distance above level used to compute the room parameter and volume. And as well as area. So if I place here 700, now you can see that this room is being calculated correctly. And if I select it, you can see this dash line here. And this is the representation of the computation height of this level. So this room has the computation height here, which is above and it is hitting the walls. So it is computing correctly. There are also some limitations where, which you have to take into account when you are using the computation height for the levels. And it is that because it is the setting for the level, all of the rooms which are placed on this level will use this computation height for it for their calculations. So if I go to my level one and all of these rooms which are here have this computation height now 700 millimeters. And if I want to use this computation height, let's say only for some of the rooms, but others should remain the, at the zero. I cannot actually do this. I would have to create a new level, which would be a helping level for the rooms placed at this helping level, level sorry, with the computation height set only for those rooms. So be aware of that, because in some situations you need to change this but you do not want it to affect other rooms because they would calculate incorrectly. So you need to do some workarounds there. And the next thing about the computation height is if I delete this and let's create this as a slanted wall, let's say 25 degrees, something like this. And in my country, we have a regulation which says that if there are some slanted walls, the area and volume calculations for the rooms should not include the things which are less than 1200 millimeters above the level. So if I go like 1200 millimeters, something like this. So above what is below this level or this height should not be included in the room. So here you see that this part should not be included. Again, I can create this with the computation height. I would place it for 1200 millimeters. Now it is in this height and now you can see that it is trying to compute, 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 it goes. And when it hits the wall, which is slanted, in the distance of 100, 2000 millimeters, it stops and it goes straight down. So this part is not being calculated in the volume and the area and the perimeter of the room is being calculated from this point. So this is the next use case for the computation height settings in Revit.